Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, if I'm a bit sweaty, I have to apologize. I've just come literally from the gym. I was going to take a shower, but then I had this epiphany at the gym, and I said to myself, you know, that's the thing with the human memory. If I go take a shower, I might forget what I had in the gym. So I just give it to you guys straight. You see, the reason why a lot of people are poor all over the world, you know, I've lived, I mean, I have a home in California. I have a residence in the United Kingdom, and I travel all around the world, you know, passion. My passion for traveling is just phenomenal. And I've seen this everywhere. The reason why a lot of people are poor is because they go to university and then they study wrong courses. Now, if you go to university and you're studying a course like political science, sociology, you know, anthropology, library science, you know, library administration, you know, things like that, you know, philosophy. Look, the truth is that in this day and age that those courses are going to set you back. They're useless. You're wasting your money and you're also wasting your, your time. You're spending four years reading a course that has no real life application anymore. Those courses are now per se. You know, they are now obsolete. The world has moved beyond this course. I know it is a harsh reality. It's not something that a lot of people want to hear, especially when you spend a lot of time reading those courses. But I'm talking to people who are going to go to school, who want to go to university. Do not just waste your time going to read those courses because at the end of the day, you're going to end up poor, except you find another way to earn money other than those courses because those courses, they no longer have real life application. They no longer have real life application. You're better off going to study for six, between six and 18 months, a course like nursing. You know, coding, cloud computing, data engineering, web design, you know, analytics, you know, artificial intelligence, blockchain engineering, things like that, that have real life, you know, applications because people are not paid in jobs for their time. They are paid for their value. They are paid for their expertise. They are paid for their skills. So a lot of people have this idea, I have a degree and I don't have a job and they're blaming the government. You see, it depends on the type of degree that you have. If you have a degree in philosophy, you have a degree in political science, you have a degree in sociology, you have a degree in library science, you have a degree in uh, local government administration. And then you say, you know, it's wrong. I have a degree. Look, you're having a degree in something that society no longer needs in that quantum. Maybe if in a country, probably like maybe they need probably 1000 library scientists, you know, if that's a large country, that may be a country with a population of probably about uh, uh, 15 to 20 million. But then you have people going in their hundreds of thousands reading these courses, you're going to come out and then you're going to be obsolete in society. So, I mean, I, I mean, I hear some people saying things like, oh, you know what, you can revamp these courses, you know, you can streamline them. Look, is there a way you can streamline an aerial cameraman when you have a drone? Is there a way? I'm asking you. It's not possible. A drone does the work that an aerial cameraman would do. So why would you go and streamline how to fly a helicopter and then how to now you hold the camera and at an angle when a drone can do everything at one, one, you know, a, less than one tenth of the cost. So you think about it. Look, right now, what the world needs, if you want to go to school, you want to read a STEM course, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And then if you want to read something liberal, you want to read something like maybe a law. And then even law is a bit iffy. I have a master's in law, so I know what I'm talking about. Even law is a bit iffy because artificial intelligence is wiping away a lot of courses. Accounting in the United States is going to shock you. Most accounting in the United States right now is done with artificial intelligence. So a lot of people are no longer going to colleges to read uh, accounting because it's going to be a course that's going to be obsolete in the coming years. So it's not just that with law, you know, there's a part of law called paralegal. Artificial intelligence is now doing paralegal. So, it, so you want to read a course that is going to have real life applications and that's something that artificial intelligence cannot wipe out in the future. Nursing cannot be wiped out by artificial intelligence. And you can study nursing for six months. You become a registered nursing assistant. If you want to go higher, then you go for 18 months. But Going to university to go and spend four years and a lot of money studying some of these courses, it's absolutely unwise. I know it's a harsh truth. It's not something that you want to hear. It's something that's going to make you annoyed. But you know, the truth is bitter, but it is better. You know, so if you are going to study a course right now, you know what, if it's one of these courses, just forget about it. Go and stay, let's learn a skill, a high income skill, six months, 18 months, you're done. And then you're going to start getting paid. And then you're going to live a life of ease for the rest of your life. Rather than learning an obsolete case, it gives you a sense of entitlement. I'm a graduate, I'm a degree holder, I, 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 I'm entitled to a job. No, that kind of world has died 
with the 20th century. Now, my name is Randall Murphy. If you watch this, you've got questions arising from this, put your questions in the comment section of this video. My staff are going to bring them to me, and I'll do my best to respond to each and every category. Thank you for watching. This is from the Apostle of Prosperity saying, God bless you. No travels all around the world. I hope you get inspired about what you see. I was full of greatness. Reno is a master. Only one man against the old world in large. Fighting with the monsters. Poverty, I can't stand. That's why Reno is a